Well, as I told you before, we have such a special guest today. I call her friend. Her name is Hannah Fett, and she got off a plane all the way from Germany just to be with you on Come Home. Hannah, thank you so much. Thank you for the honor and privilege to be here. Thank you. Well, I did not know until a few months ago that you had been working on this masterpiece. And I really, I love Psalm 23. And I, and I was so excited that you wrote the book, uh, The Shepherd's Promises. And, you know, you can get this book on uh, Amazon or you can go to PrayPsalm23.com. This is a great children's book, teen's book, uh, baby shower book, wedding gift, birthday gift. It's, it's beautiful. It's simple. It's profound. And it's filled with the word, the word, the word, the word, the word, the word, the word. So I, I love that. But, you know, uh, Chuck Pierce is someone I respect greatly. And he actually called this year, uh, 2023 or 5783 on the Hebrew calendar, he called this the year of Psalm 23. Mm -hmm. So you were very prophetic in mm -hmm. getting this book and this masterpiece birthed mm -hmm. prior to mm -hmm. this, this Hebrew year and this um, Gregorian calendar year. So Hannah, why do you think God inspired you to write this book? I was just reading Psalm 23 and I thought, because it's such a well-known Psalm and we heard millions of sermons about it, I thought, I don't want to just skip over the word because God's, because God's word is precious. It has so much to give to us. Yeah. And so I thought, I need to meditate on it. I need to dissect it. I need to allow the Holy Spirit to talk to me about it. And, you know, even David he writes in his first psalm about meditating day and night. Yeah. And so I thought even the first line, the Lord is my shepherd. What if I really believed he was my shepherd? Right. What if I really thought about the characteristics of a shepherd? And it just blew my mind. And when I was meditating on each verse, all these scriptures came to my mind. And they supported the characteristics that is revealed in, in the verses. And I was very excited. And then hearing on Dateline, I was watching Dateline one day and I heard Chuck Pierce say, this is the year Psalm 23 will become a reality. So God really wants to reveal himself yeah. this year as a shepherd. This is a season for us to experience God as shepherd. Yeah. Well, you know, what's fascinating is sometimes we just consider Psalm 23 like the funeral psalm, which that's not fair because it is so rich and you have done a phenomenal job in outlining the richness. In fact, I love the appendix because mm. in the appendix, you take each characteristic of the shepherd and each promise from Psalm 23 and then you give you give um, supporting scripture yeah. and that's great. So you can take this and make this like a whole journal Bible study, going yes. through the word, highlighting. Yes. But you know, um, out of every animal uh, in the word, he called us sheep, yeah. you know, he, and, and there's just thousands and thousands of animals documented and he calls us sheep and sheep are the only animals that need a shepherd or they can't survive. And so how wonderful that you did a study and you just referenced getting to know him as our shepherd. Mm. Because, you know, in America, in a Western mindset, we don't see a lot of shepherds. But I know overseas, you know, sometimes traffic stops, your car gets stuck because of shepherds and sheep and herding. And, mm. and so it's much more common outside of America to understand that shepherd sheep relationship. Hmm. Yeah, can, you can also think about it as you know, a lot of people have dogs or yeah. cats. Yeah. You know, how does you how do you care for a dog or a cat? Yeah. So you can use the imagery of a shepherd uh, to understand who God is. Yeah. And that is really exciting. Um, something uh, that um, before we get into the picture of the shepherd and talk more about the shepherd, um, I wanted to point out that there's music in the book because yes. the music <laughs> It's just uh, that what makes the book unique too, but yeah. it um, it's just wonderful, calming piano music by Mark Payne. Yes. A beautiful, wonderful worship leader, pianist. Why is music so important? Um, because before I pray, 
before I uh, meditate on the Word of God, I usually put on music. Yeah. And music just helps me to calm down. Yeah. It helps me to shift from my own thoughts yes. to Jesus. Yes. And I know music has always been a tool to uh, influence our emotions. Yeah. You know, even the, the Greek philosopher Plato said, uh, music is like medicine for yes. the soul. Yes. And so, you know, when we, before we pray, we go through the day or we just get up and, and start our day and we have our minds and our thoughts set on what is coming and the challenges. But when we play music, calm music, it sets the mood. Yeah, it sets an atmosphere, it sets the environment. Yes. And, and like you said, it gets us locked into our spirit man. It kind of takes us out of the natural man and the That's solical right. man and gets yes. us there. And that was one of the things I had down to bring up yeah. is how is it, you know, when I'm, you're thinking, how is this book different from every other book on Psalm 23? And look, let me show you, look at the QR codes. All you do is just take your smartphone and you hover it. And then all of a sudden it, there's a there's free music. So while you're using this or while you're in the car or in the shower, you get to have that. And Dr. Mark Payne is such an anointed pianist. Yes. We served with him. Yes. He's no stranger to CTN. Uh, they, he's on many uh, programs here locally and nationally. And uh, he he's gifted. And yes. so you picked a good one. Yes. You did. Good yes. job. <laughs> yes. Because I know he can bring the anointing. Yes. You know, it says that uh, God inhabits the praises yes. of his people. And when we worship, it says in Deuteronomy, he, God chooses to reveal his name yeah. in worship. You know, the people brought the sacrifice, which is a form of worship, yeah. into the tabernacle, into the temple. And it says God chooses to reveal his name. Yeah. He chooses to encounter us and we can discover who he is. And so before I pray, when I worship before I pray, I'm already in the presence of God. Yeah. I'm already in the throne room. Yeah. And my mind is already set to encounter a God that can invade the impossible, yes. that can do the impossible. So it does influence the way I pray. Yeah. That's why I love to worship before I start praying. 